This new ingredient is making waves in the anti-aging and health optimization space, and it's called pentadecanoic acid, otherwise known as fatty 15. This is a remarkable ingredient that I know that you will benefit from, and that is why I'm sharing it here today, and it's called pentadecanoic acid, otherwise known as fatty 15. Now, fatty 15 is a commercial name for a supplement that contains pentadecanoic acid. Now, make sure you write this down and remember it because this particular nutrient is going to be popping up a lot in the next couple of years. And it's a type of odd chain saturated fatty acid that is found in trace amounts in dairy fat and some plants. Now, it has gained attention due to its potential health benefits, which differ from those of more common even chain fatty acids. Now, Fatty15, again, will be linked in the video description down below, is the only pure C15 on the market. So let's get into pentadecanoic acid. What actually is pentadecanoic acid? Now, it has a 15 carbon atoms as part of its structure and is part of a group of fatty acids called odd chain fatty acids. Now, unlike the more prevalent even chain fatty acids, odd chain fatty acids have an odd number of carbon atoms. Now, pentadecanoic acid can be found in dairy products, as I mentioned before, milk, butter, cheese, certain fish such as salmon and other cold water fish, and also plants, some minor amounts in certain seeds and nuts. Now, what's remarkable about Fatty15 is that the research suggests that it may offer several health benefits, including number one, anti-inflammatory properties. It may help reduce inflammation, which is linked to many chronic diseases. Number two is metabolic health. So some studies indicate it may improve metabolic health by enhancing insulin sensitivity and reducing the risk of type two diabetes. Number three is cardiovascular health. Now pentadecanoic acid might help improve heart health by lowering LDL cholesterol levels and increasing HDL cholesterol. Number four is cell membrane integrity. Now it plays a role in maintaining cell membrane integrity and function, which is vital for overall cellular health. So let's get into the mechanism of action. Pentadecanoic acid is thought to work through several key mechanisms. Number one is modulation of inflammatory pathways. Now it may inhibit pro-inflammatory cytokines and promote anti-inflammatory pathways. Number two is lipid metabolism. It can influence the metabolism of lipids in the body, promoting a healthier lipid profile. And number three, cellular health. By integrating into cell membranes, it helps maintain their fluidity and their function. Now, really critical to know, and again, we're going to have a number of people comment on this video. We need to understand that not all saturated fatty acids are created equal. So odd or even, they're named for their number of carbon atoms that they carry, and our bodies break them down in different ways. Looking at the even chain, so saturated fatty acids, an example would be palmitic acid, or C16, actually is associated with increased risk of inflammation, heart disease, and type 2 diabetes. Whereas if we look at fatty 15 or C15, higher levels has been associated with good health, including balanced immunity, heart health, healthy metabolism, red blood cell health, liver health, and also gut health. So looking at the anti-inflammatory effects, pentadecanoic acid inhibits pro-inflammatory cytokines via modulation of NF-kappa B signaling pathways. So we can see this study was uh, in the Journal of Biochemical and Biophysical uh, Research Communications 2018. And this study demonstrated that pentadecanoic acid could reduce the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines by actually modulating NF-kappa B signaling pathway, a key regulator of inflammation. The next study here was looking at its anti-diabetic properties. The study was titled, Odd Chain Fatty Acids and Incident of Type 2 Diabetes, a Meta-Analysis of Observational Studies. Now, this was in the Journal of Diabetes Care 2004, 2014. And the findings of this meta-analysis of several observational studies found an inverse relationship between the levels of odd chain fatty acids, including pentadecanoic acid, and the risk of type 2 diabetes. From a cardiovascular health perspective, this study here was titled Serum Odd Chain Fatty Acids as Biomarkers for Dietary Intake of Dairy Fat and Risk of Cardiovascular Disease. Now, this study was in the Journal of the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition, 
And this study linked to higher levels of odd chain fatty acids, including pentadecanoic acid, with a reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, suggesting a potential cardioprotective effect. There is a lot of information that I present here on my YouTube channel. However, if you wanna know exactly what protocols are best for your unique biology, then I suggest booking in a free Boost Your Biology Strategy session with a senior member of my team, as we'll start to map out and strategize the best action plan for your unique biology. You'll see that linked down below in the video description. Now, let's look at the links to longevity. Another study of people living in Sardinia, Italy, which is known as a high longevity zone, HZL, meaning that high percentage of people living here typically live beyond 80, found that 60 to 70 year olds living in this uh, high longevity zone had the highest levels of C15 with 0.64% of total fatty acids, while people 80 years or older living in the HCL had 0.42% C15 of total fatty acids. So people over the ages of 80 living in a low longevity zone had the lowest levels of C15 with 0.29% of total fatty acids. That study indicates that C15 naturally declines with age and that people living in the high uh, longevity zone areas have significantly higher levels of circulating C15. In this case of Sardinia, this may be due to the fact that they have a heavy dairy-based diet, primarily from local grass-fed sheep and goat's milk, which are actually high in C15. One of the factors driving the decline of C15 in our diets, uh, says Stephanie Van Watson, is the decline in consumption of whole fat milk. Moving on, let's look at how it affects something known as cellular fragility syndrome. This study here was titled The Cellular Stability Hypothesis, Evidence of Ferroptosis and Accelerated Aging Associated Diseases as Newly Identified Nutritional Pentadecanoic Acid Deficiency Syndrome. Now, for the first time in over 75 years, researchers have identified a syndrome linked to nutritional deficiencies called cellular fragility syndrome. So basically, cellular fragility syndrome, as recently reported in the Scientific Journal of Metabolites, is caused by low body levels of pentadecanoic acid, a stable odd-chain saturated fatty acid. Given that cellular fragility syndrome may be impacting as many as one in three people worldwide, this new finding holds significant implications for understanding and potentially mitigating the process of aging and chronic disease development. So the discovery of a nutritional C15 deficiency syndrome is the culmination of over a decade of rigorous studies, says Stephanie Van Watson, the lead author of the paper and co-founder of Serafina Therapeutics. As a hopeful inspiration to fellow and future scientists, this shows that there are still simple and impactful discoveries to be made that can meaningfully improve global health. Pentadecanoic acid is primarily found in whole fat dairy products, certain types of fish, and some plants. Studies have consistently shown that individuals with low levels of C15 are at a heightened risk of developing type 2 diabetes, heart disease, and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. But changes in agricultural practices and the demonization of whole fat dairy products, by the way, guys, <laughs> what I'm referring to here is the fact that, you know, Western society has pushed the use of almond milk, soy milk, you know, all these different types of nut milks and plant-based milks, where we're actually missing out on these whole fat dairy products, have actually led to a population-wide decline in C15 levels. Despite the prevalence of these conditions in contemporary society, the, da the daily intake of cow's milk has worsened with each generation, a trend that the United States Department of Agri Agriculture describes as difficult to reverse. Looking closely here, how ferroptosis accelerates non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. So we can see what happens here, intracellular iron, um, affects this pathway here, damages the mitochondria, causes lipid peroxidation. This can lead to cell death or ferroptosis. That can lead to systemic lipid peroxidation, systemic reactive oxygen species, and systemic iron overload. 
And this chronic iron overload can lead to accelerated development of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, diminished insulin secretion, and also direct cardiac uh, you know, tissue injury, worsened vessel inflammation, and also increasing the risk of atherosclerosis. So looking at the short-term benefits of C15 or pentadecanoic acid, now having three times the cellular benefits of the highest performing omega-3, fatty 15 actually supports the heart, metabolic, liver, and immune health. As an added benefit, two of three people report feeling near-term benefits, including deeper sleep, improved mood, and less snacking within six weeks of consumption. Now, due to differences among individuals, some may feel a difference while others may not. Now, rest assured, Fatty15 is working hard to strengthen the cells and they obviously is going to help with mitochondrial function and restoring balance to your overall immunity and also metabolism. Since near-term benefits peak four to six hours after taking the supplement, most customers take Fatty15 in the morning. Now, others find taking Fatty15 in the evening helps support their sleep. Bottom line is that you can adjust your intake of pentadecanoic acid, just like what we see with omega uh, with fish oil. You can use it pretty much at any time of the day. So if we were to compare now omega-3s to fatty 15, omega-3s are considered polyunsaturated essential fatty acid um, and a, a few fishy ingredients. So basically, we require a very large dosage of fish oil or omega-3s. Whereas with fatty 15, it's just one pure ingredient. Uh, there's no taste or smell. It can improve cellular strength and it only requires a tiny dosage at 100 milligrams per day. So now you're you know, probably wondering about dosages. 100 milligrams of fatty 15 per day is sufficient to elicit many of these benefits. So just as a re recap, um, fatty 15 is a pure powder form of C15 and the result is a you know, vegan-friendly lactose-free product with no preservatives, no fillers, no oil, no dairy, no gluten, no allergens, and no artificial colors. So in terms of how to use it, it's currently recommended to use one capsule a day to support the long-term cellular health benefits, which can take up to three to six months of routine use to take full effect. Now, some users have opted to take two capsules a day, um, where studies have been completed for up to 250 milligrams and I've shared this has resulted in improved near-term benefits. So that's pretty much it on fatty 15 or pentadecanoic acid. If you have questions about this nutrient or this type of saturated fatty acid, leave a comment down below. Let's get a discussion going. Otherwise, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you in the next video.